Shalom, everybody. Give an honor unto our Creator and King of the universe, and give an honor unto the Messiah, Yahushua HaMashiach, and to the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit, thanking Him for all that He is doing in our lives. And as His Word says that we should meditate Meditate on the book of the law that we may observe to do all according to all that is written therein and that we would prosper and have success. So I was meditating on two words, drinking poison. And if you drink poison, it will not harm you. So from that thinking, I started thinking about um, foods that we are eating these days and we do not know whether everything in them is right. And we say kosher, which, which means that they've been certified that they don't have any pork and various things in it. So... So then, so I pray always and ask Father when I bring food home and, you know, and to eat, I ask Him to please break on my food and purify it, and then I go ahead on and eat it. And so I was thinking about that, and then I thought about side effects of medicine. And I thought, okay, that can be a kind of poison too, as well as a lot of chemical things that we eat in foods too. And so I, it prompted me to look up the scripture that talks about if you, if you, uh, it, it says that if you drink in the dead, the poison, it will not, it will not hurt you. So um, that scripture is found in Mark 16, verse 18. And it says, They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly poison, it will not hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick. And they will recover. And it also says, And these signs, in Mark 16, verse 17 and 18, And these signs will accompany those who believe in my name. They will cast out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly poison, it will not hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick and they will recover. And so I was looking at that and of course continuing to think about hallelujah do we really understand what these scriptures is telling us for such a time as this that we are living in. The word drink is actually the Greek word P-I-N-O-P-N-O, which means to drink or to consume. Although this word usually refers to drinking, it can also picture a person who is consuming something, such as meat or some other kind of food. The word deadly the word deadly comes from the Greek word thanasimos, T-H-A-N-A-S-I-M-O-S, a derivative of the word thanatos, T-H-A-N-A-T-O-S, which is the Greek word for death. However, the word used here in Mark 16, 18 describes something that is deadly or fatal. The word any 
is the small word ti, ti, which means anything. This means that Yahushua wasn't referring only to liquid chemicals, but to anything that is deadly or fatal, including chemicals or foods. Hence, this part of the verse should be translated, and if they consume anything that would normally be fatal, it will not harm them, because Father's word said, they will pick up serpents with their hands, and if they drink any deadly poison, it will not hurt them. They will lay their, lay their hands on the sick, and they will recover. Repeating Mark 16, 17, and 18, And these signs will accompany those who believe in my name. They will cast out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly poison, it will not hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick and they will recover. Now this is for those of us that have accepted the Messiah, death, burial, and resurrection. We have become born again and we are children of the Most High. He is saying to us, if we drink any deadly thing, it is not going to harm us. If we are eating chemicals and not, under, not knowing that we are, it is not going to harm us. And Yahushua will continue by saying that if a believer consumes, consumes something fatal while he is on a God-sent trip, meaning Father done sent you somewhere, and to me it also means that as he has given us assignments, this goes for the same thing, whether we are in state or out of state or in our homes or wherever we are, in somebody else's house. This still to me applies. So he says again, Yahushua will continue by saying that if a believer consumes something fatal while he is on a God sent trip, this fatal substance shall not hurt them. The word hurt is the Greek word blapto, B L A P T O, which means to weaken, to disable, to hurt, to harm, or to injure. It depicts something that is probably not powerful enough to kill, but strong enough to make one sick or ill. Because the word thanasimos, T-H-A-N-A-S-I-M-O-S, means deadly thing, is also used in this verse. It tells us that Yahushua meant this. If they consume anything that would normally be fatal, or anything that would usually make a person sick, it will have no effect upon them. And we must remember that Yahushua was speaking to followers whom he was going to send to the furthest ends of the world. To fulfill this assignment, they would be required to eat foods they had never seen before. In fact, their journeys to pagan lands would no doubt necessitate that they eat foods they probably consider to be dirty or clean. For them to take the gospel or the good news to new places meant they would have to eat mystery food, not knowing where it came from, who killed it, how long it had been dead, who cooked it, how clean or dirty the kitchen was, in which it was cooked or what effect the food was going to have on our stomachs. And remember, Yahushua had previously told his disciples, and in the same house remain eating and drinking such things as they give. Eat such things as I said before you, Luke 10, verse 7 and 8. If the disciples had rejected what their hosts had prepared for them, they could have greatly insulted or hurt them. Therefore, Yahushua said, in effect, if your hosts have prepared the best they can give you, eat it with joy.
So, when you think about if you drink or eat some, something to pour, it's not going to have any effect on you. If you consume any deadly or thing that is not right, it would have no effect on you. This promise belongs to those who believe. I'm going to repeat that. This promise belongs to those who believe. Let me repeat it again. This promise belongs to those who believe. Those who are born again. To me is in the body of believers. Like those the um, father anointed those. Tell minutes and sent them out. If we want this promise of protection from bad foods or fatal substances, we must release our faith and activate this promise. So before we sit down to eat, we need to take a few minutes to bracket that food. Call it sanctified, purified, and speak nutrition and health into it. I know I will say sometimes if I'm eating something and I'm not sure about it, I say, Father, I'm asking you to bracket this. Because that happens sometimes you open up a banana and you don't, it doesn't look like it's the usual banana. So I say to Father, turn this banana into nutrition for my body. And then I eat it, but I eat it without a doubt because I've given it to Father. And other things that we eat, if there's a doubt there, brock up, say a blessing, talk Father. And then, then you eat the food believing that it will only brock you and that nothing negative can happen to you as a result of eating it. Now there is an example of a food that would had death in a pot or it was poison in the scripture with Elisha. And it's, it says in 2 Kings 4, starting at verse 38 as an example, and Elisha returned to Gilgal, and the scarcity of food was in the land. And the sons of the prophets were sitting before him, and he said to his servant, Put on the large pot and cook stew for the sons of the prophets. And one went out to the field to gather plants and found a wild vine and gathered wild cucumbers from it, filling the skirt of his garment, and came and sliced them into the pot of stew, though they did not know what they were. They then served it to the men to eat. And it came to be, as they were eating the stew, that they cried out and said, O oh, man of Elohim, there is death in the pot. So I'm thinking, so they must have been poisonous. Say, so there's death in the pot. And they were unable to eat it. Now listen to what the prophet said, Elijah. He said, then bring some flour. And he put it into the pot and said, serve it to the people to eat. And there was no evil matter in the pot. That's the joy I have when somebody's called by Father. And Father give them some instructions to give to us. And say go ahead on and eat it. When we knew there was death in the pot. Now that's faith in our Heavenly Father and in the messenger that he sent. So that's an example. Yahushua provided everything needed for those of us who would follow his call to the ends of the earth. He provided us with supernatural protection from disasters, calamities, snakes, scorpions, and all the works of the enemy. We remember that the snake bit Paul and nothing happened to Paul. Because he was sent. He belonged to Father. So, and, and, and Father also, Messiah also promised traveling mercies. 
and protection from acts of injustice. He even guaranteed that if we accidentally consume bad foods or deadly substances, they wouldn't weaken us physically or injure our health. But we have to know this. If we do not know this, we will allow our minds to, to, work, to work on our bodies. Now, poisonous. Now, listen. The, uh, here's something I want to add into this. The original Greek word for sorceries is pharmakia, which means the use of the administering of drugs, poisoning, magical arts often found in connection with idolatry and fostered by it. It say uh, also in summary, pharmacia or pharmacy is a system of administering poisonous drugs that not only poison the body and mind, but are spell-given portions to take control of a person's thoughts and actions. Pharmacia has a direct connection to witchcraft, the magical arts, sorcery, and idolatry. Modern medicine has adopted pharmacia as its standard treatment of the sick and disease in hospitals, clinics, and doctor's offices worldwide. Pharmacia Deception article reveals that their logo and branding of this system come from false worship and the occult word of Satan. Satan is the architect and the mad scientist behind the entire system of pharmacia with the objective to kill, steal, and destroy. He wants to take control of the minds of his victims through his poisonous, spellbound concoctions. Satan has deceived the world to believe that poison has the power to heal. But in reality, they only have the power to steal from and manipulate the biochemistry of the body. So for example, high blood pressure drugs inhibit the natural elasticity of the blood vessels. And chemotherapy used to treat all forms of cancer kills all fast growing cells causing major damage. And then it says the American Diabetes Association advocates that type 2 diabetes start with metformin, M-E-T-F-O-R-M-I-N. As, as blood sugar levels increase, the patient is given insulin drugs such as glucagon, G-L-U-C-A-G-O-N, like peptide, P-E-P-T-I-D-E-1, receptor, R-E-C-E-P-T-O-R, agonist prescriptions like Bayetta, B-Y-E-T-T-A-R, Bidurion, B-Y-D-U-R-E-O-N. The patients grow worse over time. As a result, they whack off many legs, arms, toes, or fingers due to poor circulation. And the kidney over time breaks down by the constant assault of toxic drugs. And then the patient is placed on dialysis. Over time, the patient gets progressively worse and dies. And I, 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 said, I brought all that in because it's talking about poison. And Father wants us to know right now that if we are on any medication and we have looked up what is in it and if what is in it is not good for us and is poisonous to the system, we now know that Father is telling us he's not going to let it harm us. And that's what he wants us to know. So there was two things, three things was mentioned in here but highlighting the high blood pressure and the diabetes and also cancer. It's time for us to quit worrying and start believing that Yahushua meant what he said. If Yahuwah has given us an assignment, 
that takes us to a foreign state or distant country or in unfamiliar culture, right where you are. We are to keep our eyes fixed on Yahushua HaMashiach and get it going with great faith. Yahuwah isn't going to send you somewhere so you can eat something deadly and die. So we believe Psalm 34 that he delivers us from all fear. So rebuke that spirit of fear. And we pray that Father release faith in all of us. Faith in you. Faith in me. Faith in whoever hears this video. We will not let Hasatan keep us trapped at home because we are afraid we won't like food or, or we are afraid we are going to drink poisonous things. The good news and the gospel and the power of you is much stronger than any meat or drink or side effects or poisonous things that the adversary is trying to do to us to take us out of here. So I pray that like me, you'll look at those, the scriptures again that says that if we eat or if we drink any, let me say it again, Mark 16 verse 18, it says, and this is about us who are believers in the body. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly poison, it will not hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick and they will recover. And we remember Paul and the snake that bit him. And nothing happened. Again, I'm repeating. Then Mark 16, 17, and 18. And these signs will accompany those who believe in my name. They will cast out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly poison, it will not hurt them. Or if they eat deadly food or chemicals that is not right, it is not going to hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick. And it says they will recover. So those people that I have laid hands on, as Father led me, are going to recover. Ephesians 2, 8, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not our own doing. It is the gift of Yahuwah. He has spoken and given us the sign of the Sabbath that we know Him and gave us to understand about his feasts and everything. But anyway, this this uh this what I'm sharing with you came from me thinking about that word if you drink any poisonous thing it will not harm you. And so this grew out of that. Uh may Yah Yahuwah uh Baruch you going out, coming in, uh Yahuwah's countenance shine up on you and grant you peace, wisdom, understanding, knowledge wise counsel and give you strength and the, and the fear of him and know that you are called by him and continue to, to obtain the knowledge so you can know if you are taking medication or things like that so you can know what is going into your body that is chemical and things like that that it will not harm you because our heavenly father has got a hold of you and you are anointed and set aside and appointed for such a time as this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May Father grant the desires of your heart right now. And that is to be whole and well. And to understand his assignment that he's given to you. And me understand the assignment he's given to me. That life, lives will change because we are in the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.